Kei Kimuro is scheduled to marry Mako of Aksinomiyake on the 26th. On Sunday morning, the 24th, he visited the Akasaka Imperial Palace again. The breakdown of the visit is that he and Mako had a meeting to discuss the press conference. Just before 8 o'clock a. m. Kama, Mr. Kimuro went out from his home in Yokohama City, Kanagawa Prefecture. Dressed in a suit and tie, Mr. Kimuro bowed with his bag and paper bag and got into a car with a police officer, heading for the Akasaka Imperial Palace. On the 23rd, Mako celebrated her 30th birthday, and on the 24th, she is said to have been meeting with Kimuro for a press conference to be held on the afternoon of the 26th at the Akasaka Higashi residence next to her residence. On the 25th, Mako is scheduled to give her wedding speech to the emperor and his wife. The day of the wedding of Mako and Kei Kimuro is finally approaching. On October 26, Mako will leave the Kasiki and join Kei Kimuro. After that, she will hold a press conference at a hotel in Tokyo with two shots of herself as the civilian Mako Kimuro. He also said, we are planning to hold a march demonstration on October 26. However, the title of the demonstration will not be KK Breakup Choice, but a demonstration to ask for an investigation and disclosure of information on the use of the Imperial family, to pursue the allegations against the Kimuro family and to ask Prince Akashino for a full explanation. I'm planning to hold this demonstration with a minimum of 50 participants. We are planning to hold a demonstration with a minimum of 50 participants, she said. On the day of the demonstration, police and public security officials are expected to be on high alert, and there is a possibility of chaos in some parts of the city. It's kind of noisy. In the past, Demonstrations have been cancelled in the event of rain, but even on the 26th, when rain is predicted, I'm really thinking about holding the demonstration on this day, even if it's raining. I'm not sure what to do, but I'm going to do it. I think they want to hold the press conference as soon as possible to put an end to all this and live a quiet life in America. I'm sure the same is true for the CUNE agency. The situation with Mako's marriage continues to be unprecedented, and we are busy dealing with it on a daily basis. There will be a break until Mako leaves for the U.S., comma, said an imperial family journalist. Although there are many voices of criticism, saying that none of the allegations against Ms. Kimuro's mother have been resolved, things are steadily progressing according to the scenario. Nevertheless, it is certain that there are still concerns that remain even after their marriage. As you can see from the content of the demonstrations, the dissatisfaction that had been directed at Mr. Kimuro is now being directed at Mr. Exonomiaik. Why did you allow Mako to marry into the Kimuro family in a situation where the reported suspicions had not been fully resolved? Why did you allow the Kimuro family to marry Mako when the reported suspicions were not fully resolved? That's what many people are wondering, said the reporter. If we look at Mr. Kimuro alone, he has been in the U.S. for three years and is planning to get a lawyer's license and has found a job. He also won the essay contest and has an illustrious career in terms of appearance. Is it her true ability that she has been able to do what she has to do and leave behind results so far despite being exposed to bashing? Or did the royal discovery work? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, the people who can be convinced of the truth about Ms. Kimuro just by her illustrious career are probably people who don't know the history of the Kimuro mother and son. Many people in Japan must be wondering why they rushed the marriage despite the fact that the mother, Keo Kimuro, was suspected of fraudulently receiving a survivor's pension and injury and illness benefits, and many people were not congratulating her. Even in an ordinary family, if there are such allegations against the other family, the parents might object to the marriage. This is also a result of the fact that they did not go ahead with a physical examination of Ms. Kimuro and her family before the engagement.
No matter how many no ceremonies and other measures are taken to settle the issue, there are still people who are not convinced. Therefore, the sense of distrust will only increase. I'm sure you'll be able to figure out what's going on, he said. As far as the weekly magazines are concerned, it seems that it will take some time for the people to return to normalcy. Until now, I had never heard of any demonstration protests due to the marriage of people related to the imperial family. It's such a big deal. The CUNY agency's assumption that the people had driven the Prince of Wales into PTSD by slandering him also hurt many people. Truly, this is a far cry from the marriage that will be blessed by many people that His Majesty the Emperor had hoped for. It is truly deplorable. What do you mean by calming down? It is natural to hope that the mother's many allegations will be clarified in black and white. Also, the people should have the right to know the security and other expenses that are coming from the imperial family. The taxpayers can spend as much as they want, whether it is for study abroad or for security. Travel expenses for returning home are also taxed. If she can't afford the airfare, how can she afford the rent of living in New York? Taxpayers' money will continue to be used forever. I can't accept that this is the end of the story. We should make sure to disclose how much taxpayer money is being spent. Isn't the essence of this problem the fact that the fallacy of anything is permissible for senior citizens has been applied to the imperial family? I think it has instilled a deep sense of despair and helplessness in the people. Nothing has solved the suspicion, so the problem will never subside. That's a matter of course. On the contrary, if the issue is not resolved properly, public opinion will become even more severe. I hope you can come to a firm conclusion on the issue that involves criminal penalties. The news media should also pursue this issue thoroughly. It is the responsibility of Prince Akashino to respond to this obvious question, and if he continues to run away, it will really add to the argument that the imperial family is unnecessary. It is obvious that a lot of follow-up work is being done at the government's expense even with the tight security of SP and other personnel. If they continue to ignore the situation, it will be talked about for a long time as a lousy response and a response with zero risk management skills, and it can't be helped if it is seen as a desecration of the people's tax money and taxpayers. Also, don't forget the fact that the existence of the CUNA agency has been called into question. It is beyond a tragedy for the people that the future emperor will be born from this family. I am disillusioned with what K.O. Kimuro has caused, with all the suspicious behavior of K, and with Aksin Ominayik and the Kune agency for forcing the marriage as if nothing had happened. I think the only person who wants to get married in the first place is the Uchinoa Chiko Hao. They are screwing over everyone else to make that happen. I've always respected the royal family, but I don't feel that way at all anymore.